Well, good afternoon, fellow Otarians. This is probably one of the last few times that I'm going to be wearing this magnificent chain of office for our Rotary Club of Grantham. 2012-13 may well have been a terrible year for our farmers and our economy, but the Rotary Club of Grantham, I know, we have had an excellent year, with all members taking part in some part of the programme as and when they could. I feel a bit of a fraud trying to tell you what a wonderful year I have had as your president. Rather, I have had the privilege of basking in the glory of other members' work. You might ask yourself why I am not at the meeting delivering this speech in person. Those of you who know my true style is to try and lead by example, and once decisions have been made, then leave members to get on with the tasks in hand. So I find myself in Lisbon at the Rotary International Convention supported as ever by my wife Pam, and us in turn supporting our social media guru, Paul Wilson, to promote the workings of our club in this new communication media, and of course our club in its visionary efforts with Rotary Global Swim Marathon and Rotary Swim Marathon. We'll be meeting the current RI President, Sakuji Tanaka, and incoming President, uh, RI President, Ron Burton. So we're rubbing shoulders with top Rotarians, as well as presenting certificates, club banners and a Newton apple to the top clubs and districts supporting Rotary Global Swim Marathon. I believe it is important that members in our club should visit the annual RI convention to see what is happening in the Rotary world, and to try and promote our own club within the movement. I've been asked many times recently if I've enjoyed my presidential year, and what I have liked best. With no hesitation, I have to say our charter night. Brilliant venue at Hallock's Manor. Side-aching humour from our speaker, Bob Brownlow. Moscow Bassey evening making the RI, RIBI toast humorous. And of course, the presentation of Paul Harris Fellows and club presidential citations to well-deserving members who have and will continue to walk the extra mile. Not to mention Frank Whiten receiving his 35 years Rotary Service Award from District Governor Tris Chu. The Sergeant Arms Secret Party was a great success and something not tried for many years. Homegrown fun and entertainment, quite hilarious, lots of laughs and great fellowship. High on my list of memorable events was the Northern Safari to God's Counties. Even President-elect Kevin agrees the North East really is God's Counties. Again, lots of camaraderie, entertainment, great food and accommodation, and we even had Andrew Redmond smiling all weekend. But then the trip to Telford for district conference was well supported and again lots of camaraderie, fun and fantastic speakers. Fantastic speakers also featured at the RIBI conference in Harrogate which Secretary Alistair and our wives attended. Again more fun and fellowship on the caravan weekend. So out and about in district RI, BI and RI, the visibility of our club is very good and excellent. It would be wrong of me not to include in my great memories of the presidential year our working events and projects. Rotary Global Swim Marathon of course and Rotary Swim Marathon, our mainstay of our club activity for charity. Membership meetings at the Wine Bar and the Life Church Centre both events promoting our club and Rotary in Grantham to new audiences and potential members. Kids out at Wigsteed Park, a great day out. Rotary Youth Leadership Award at Grafton Water. Our quiz event for foundation led by the extraordinary quiz master Humphrey and the great organisational team of Graham and Tracy. Mock interviews for our local Grantham people. Our club involvement with other international projects in Theca to build a new physiotherapy shelter. And just last week, our novelty horse racing in Dysart Park. Our two youngest members putting on a super fun event, a big break from the type of things our cl club normally does, and raising over £500 as a bonus. Long may this kind of innovation last. No president can make a good hand of the year without in office without the steady and sometimes dynamic support of fellow club executive officers and team chairmen and other officers who make up our club council. Believe me, they work very hard for the interests of members and they are given full credit for the success, fun, rotary year we've just had. I believe the club has been handed off to President-elect Kevin in a happy and dynamic state. 
and I know we are achieving the necessary changes to how we operate as a club to make us relevant and fit for purpose in these times by evolution rather than revolution. I have tried to do my best as your president and give full support and encouragement to our members to achieve more for your efforts. I hope you all feel I have achieved this. Can I wish Kevin and his executive officers and council members all the good fortune and fun for next year in the knowledge that they will be working hard for club members. Enjoy your routine and please do get involved. I find I get immense enjoyment using the few vocational skills I have to make a better world for others less fortunate. I would like to leave you with my favourite soundbite of my presidential year, coined by our senior member Bob Brownlow with 40 years of rotary service. We have work to do. Brilliant.